Mr. Sharma, I have a straight question. My concern is... Let me is finish. I was listening to you for the, all the time. Yeah, but... And I, I think you should give the others as, as much time as possible. Yeah, I, I just Because you have taken all the time. Let me finish myself, then you can ask any question okay, on that. Okay, please do. I'm saying that there is no such organized campaign to withdraw the aid. There is a very serious concern that whether the uh, aid is going to the right people or not. Okay. But I can assure so, you that so, the Labour Party, Labour Opposition sure. and the majority of the government <coughs> will fight for the aid in India. Now, now Mr. Virendra Sharma, take my questions. I have two straight questions for you, Mr. Yeah. Virendra Sharma. First is, you say tonight that it is out of great concern for poor people that aid is given. Tell me, Mr. Sharma, as a Labour Party MP, how are the poor people of the African state of Burundi less deserving of the aid? It, One minute. Less deserving of the aid it, than the poor people in India, a country which has slightly more funds than the African state of Burundi. And let me remind you, your government, your government stopped bilateral aid to Burundi altogether. Why is that so? Because Burundi does not have a military jet deal coming up? No, the question is that there is a project-based international no. understanding on issues. And that's where the Britain always have the relations, special relationships with India. No. There's a large number of Indian <coughs> diaspora living there. There's a clear move to no. build this and strengthening the relationships between India and Britain. And that is part of that way. No, but why? You didn't answer my question. You didn't answer coming. my question. Why? This is the question of the Burundi government to negotiate with the government. Uh, it's so not the British a, government's approach to that no, country. No, no, because, because, your, because your junior development minister, Alan Duncan, said that if we cut aid to India, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in India will die who could otherwise live. Such concern from your junior development minister. Why is there not such concern for the poor people in the African state of Burundi, where British aid was stopped altogether? They are working. Britain is working with the different countries at the different level. No. But no, nobody can deny that. British governments of all <coughs> political uh, beliefs has taken that view that they have to work with the different countries what? at different levels. What? India and Britain are working on the issue-based, project-based uh, sure. issues where to promote uh, education, no. help in the health business, sir. and also to make sure sir. the allevi no, 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 alleviation no, no, no. of the poverty in no. those states sir, which I are working with the British government. Well, well, what is wrong with it? No, well, there's nothing absolutely wrong. You just didn't answer my question about why the people in Burundi are less I'm deserving. I'm answering your question by saying... I, yeah, have a, but then they have to negotiate with the British government. Okay, and we British are, we are government great. negotiate with the NGOs and the and, government. And, and, the, in, and the Indians the who say... The departments work on that. And the Indians they, who say... I'm don't, telling you that there's no link between aid and the trade. That's what you're telling me. It's very difficult to believe. Yes, Sohail wanted to come I'm coming straight to you after, the, after Swami why Sohail. Is, why there's a difficult to believe when... Mm -hmm. If because, you look because, at the hand side of the second. last week, if you look at... Listen to the debates... When the Prime Minister of the country is saying Sir, one, that we will not withdraw the aid I and it's not linked with the trade. I simply want an admission on whether it's linked to aid or not. I find it difficult. There's enough statistics proving otherwise. So I'll come to you. Swami. Yes, Swami. No, no, what, please, I let's have, no, wait, and, let's what have an is. end to this, bo yeah. this bogus moralizing. I, I don't know when which. every single country in the world that has ever given aid yes. has always had mixed motives. Yes. And you know, you said, why doesn't Britain give aid to Burundi? I could equally ask, why doesn't India give aid to Burundi? Why Good are we point. giving aid to so many other countries, not to Burundi? <coughs> the answer is, we also don't have anything commercial to cook. And if we had something to sell to Burundi, you bet your boots we would give some aid we, to Burundi. Sure we Just have. as we have given aid to a large number of other African countries, amounting to 3-4 billion. So let's get away from this high and uh, fa <laughs> fa fa fancy moral, moral chair that we're sitting on. But let's, tell them, let's <coughs> equally tell the British the following. Yeah, if you guys are so worried about that money is not getting through, why are you giving aid to the government of India? Yeah. Why don't you arrange for money to go directly go to into Burundi. the pocket of a large number of Biharis, a large number of Chhattisgadis, and a large number of Oriyas? I let me tell you, the government of India will come in the way. 
But the government of India does not want direct relations between foreign governments because, yeah, and because, because Bihar is not a British state. No, I understand that. Because Bihar is I, not I a British should be state. Able to give, I should be able to give charity. <laughs> I will not be allowed to give charity because there is nothing that the Indian politician would hate Don't more than to be words. exposed no, no, as being a complete cheat no, when what, he steals the money in between. What if India says that we want to take up, take up, a, we want to sponsor one whole part of a poor area in Warwick. We want to take it over. Will the will the British government please stay out of it? Not it's our business. We'll offer the deals. We'll do it. I'm, I'm not saying you take over. I'm saying if you give every <coughs> family, I give ten rupees in in, in rural Bihar. The quest, question is tonight. I want to go back to Chief Partsati because he's been listening on patiently to this debate today. Where do we go from here, Mr. Partsati? Are we talking about a reality? As a veteran diplomat, you must be thinking it was always linked. What's the debate about? Arun, Aruna, Aruna, I agree with Suhail and with Swami. Nobody gives aid out of charity. Yeah. There is always a quid pro quo. At the same time, there are surely people of goodwill in Britain who would like to see this happening. In an <coughs> ultimate analysis, government should not respond to what individual MPs say. If Mr. David Cameron right. says it or a minister of the British government says it, I'll take it seriously and say, go drop dead in a well. So, you know, the point is, they are giving, uh, giving aid. We've made it very clear in 2001, we are not interested. If despite that they keep giving, fine, it's their business. Let us not, uh, you know, get the, uh, you know, they may be very well-intentioned people wanting this, but some of our British interlocutors, I want to tell you, lay off our internal affairs. It's yeah. none of your business. Yeah. Even if you're an Indian abroad, you're a foreign national. So we'll run our government the way I want to do. You have as much right to comment on our politicians as we have on yours. And British politicians are not, as they say in Hindi, dood ke dule hue. Yeah, absolutely. So, let's Correct. be clear. Absolutely. This is a relationship between two mature countries. We don't have to get excited. If the British want to give this aid, fine. Yeah. We will never accept linkages. And I want to tell the British this. Please learn to behave like the Germans or the Japanese. They give three times the aid you do. And they don't sermonize to us yes, Mr. Uh, Sharma. about yes, Mr. poverty Sharma. in our country. And it's far more effective in generating employment in our country. Yes, Mr. Sharma. That's a point, Similarly, Mr. Sharma. Similarly, we give aid to Bangladesh. Or no, uh, uh, we, uh, I, I'm sure we have what, political what expectations. Saying, the same. But we don't go around telling Hasina that, that, that no unless day. you act against terrorism, please don't, inter please don't interrupt me. You're a member of parliament. You're not in the British parliament. Now, we don't uh, lecture to Bangladesh on what they should do or not do. In private, we may discuss it. But... For you to go and give lectures to us, a foreign MP, you may be an Indian, but you are a foreign MP, on how we run our domestic affairs is none of your business. So, yes, we appreciate Am what you are doing, to come in now? but lay off our internal affairs. Am I allowed to come in now? Yes, Mr. Sharma, go on, please. Yeah, I am really <coughs> surprised to listen to this uh, previous speaker. I never said that we are interfering. I always said that they are giving the aid to India. Prime Minister of uh, Britain has said that there is no link between the aid and the trade. We, Which I fully understand my to? own position. I am, uh, I fully understand my own position. I am a British member of parliament, though I am of Indian origin. We are working with the, yes, so. the NGOs and the different states. This is our responsibility living there. No. We are not telling no. how to <coughs> run your internal affairs. Yeah. We are not interfering Sorry. in the political system here. Sorry. If the government is not saying to the British Sorry. government that stop <coughs> it, yes, that's sir. a different way. Take but the British government yeah. has no move. It's an individual, as you have already said, it's individual MPs who are saying that we should not give the yeah, aid. So There's a no government line on it. No, there are ministers who and are I hyping think it. That's what you need so to I'm understand. I'm sorry, sir, but there are ministers. But you don't need to give me the lesson. Sir, there are ministers. You don't need to give me the lesson Mr. Sharma, and to make me realize Mr. Sharma, what my that, position is. Mr. Sharma, I'm sorry, I just quoted Alan Duncan. I don't think he's, he's anything but from the government. No, and the kind no, of no. hype that he has he has used, the language no, that he has the used. Prime Minister millions of, one side saying that. Millions of people will die if British aid stops. Stops to India. Sohail wants the last response. Sohail, come on. Or no, I want to, I no, want to end. No, that's individual. Sohail, but Sohail's response at the same time, time while I need the hands out. 
Mr. Prime Chairman, Minister, this is not the House of Commons. Mr. Mr. Sohail is responding to you, Mr. Mr. I know that. Sohail, yes. I know that. Mr. Sharma. You don't need Mr. to Sharma, ask me that what, whether I'm sitting in the House of Commons or Ornob not. Ornob is our speaker. Let Ornob decide. Yeah, go on, Sohail. Let Ornob decide who will speak. Okay, so now let me get my five minutes because, you know, you as a British member of Parliament of Indian origin have spoken for far too long. So here I'll make three points. Number one. In the PMQs last Wednesday, which I refer to as you know, the PM's questions, there's a reference to aid and yeah. the disappointment at losing the defense deal. Number two, that report was carried in the, Sunday time, in the Times London of February the 2nd. It was further repeated by another story of the Sunday Times this weekend. The point we are making is we are overwhelmed by your generosity and concern and care, and I don't mean this yeah. sarcastically. <clears throat> But there have been politicians in Britain who have alluded to the fact that they are questioning the aid that is being given to a country like India when India A doesn't deserve it yeah. or B India doesn't need it. Deserve because we didn't give them the fighter jet deal and, de and need because we're a rich country or we're not as poor. The yeah. point we're making is do not replicate our ingratitude which is reflected in what Pranam Mukherjee said by referring to aid as peanuts which I'm grossly upset about and the behavior of British, some British MPs. They represent a constituency within Britain. So they may not be as wise, eloquent, and as generous as you, but they also represent do we, a constituency which may gain do, ground. Tonight, tonight on the news, I wrap by saying one thing. As of now, a lot of people in India absolutely touched at the British insistence on helping us out, but they're also a little amused. We are following the story. Do we need peanuts? Is it peanuts or is it more than peanuts? Should we stop all aid? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on debate number two tonight.